Okay, so in this problem, we're looking at general calorimetry, and in particular, we're seeing uh, the relationship between heat and how much it takes to heat up a sample. So the question is, how much heat is needed to raise the temperature of a 2.5 gram piece of copper wire from 20 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius? Um, and then also, how much heat is needed to increase the temperature of an equivalent mass of aluminum? So we'll assume it's the same temperature. And then the last question, sort of after we do that, is which one would cool faster? Okay, so let's do the copper first. Okay, so in order to set both of these up, we need to remember that he, um, the heat evolved, Q, is equal to ms delta T, mass, times the specific heat, times the change in temperature. So for the copper, our Q it's going to be set equal to the mass, 2.5 grams, times the specific heat, and that is 0.385, and the units are joules per gram degree Celsius, and times the delta T, and in this case it's going to be the final, 80 degrees Celsius minus the initial, 20 degrees Celsius, so it's 60 degrees Celsius. Okay, and so you can see here, nicely the degrees Celsius from these will cancel out with that, the grams will cancel out, and we'll be left with an answer in the answer of joules. Okay, so we're going to round this to two sig figs because of the 2.5 grams, and also the temperatures have two sig figs, so we get 58 joules is the amount needed to heat the copper wire. If we wanted to do the same thing for the aluminum, we're going to set it up the same exact way. Q is equal to M, so an equivalent mass of it would be 2.5 grams. And the specific heat of that is simply 0.897 joules per gram degree Celsius. And then we're going to have our delta T, which is 60 degrees Celsius again. Calculate that out, and it comes to roughly 135. Um, we need to then round that to two significant figures. Okay, it actually comes to, sorry, 134, so we would call it either 130 joules or 1.3 times 10 to the second joules. Okay, so that is the amount of heat needed to heat up 2.5 grams of aluminum from 20 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius. So now onto the third part, which of the two would cool faster? Well, this gets to what exactly we mean. Um, when we're going over specific heat. So if we look here, copper specific heat, 0.385 joules per gram degree Celsius, and aluminum's is 0.897, clearly a lot higher. Really what the specific heat is telling us is how many joules do we need to heat up one gram, one degree Celsius, or cool down one gram, one degree Celsius, how much do we need to lose? So looking at the two of them, the smaller the specific heat, the less heat it takes to move one degree Celsius. So the smaller one, copper, since it took so much less to heat up, it makes sense it's going to take a lot less to cool down, and therefore we can get rid of 58 joules. The temperature in the copper will drop all the way down to 20. If we get rid of 58 joules from the aluminum, we're still not all the way down to uh, 20 degrees Celsius. We're probably down um, roughly half of the way, and so we're somewhere in the, in the 30 degree, uh, sorry, in the 50 degree Celsius range, okay? So we've moved 30 degrees Celsius down, not the full 60, okay? So which one will cool faster or heat faster in this case? It's always going to be the one with the smaller specific heat.